Okay, so let's introduce you to the concept of a mole. So a mole is uh, quite it's quite a simple definition, but it's sort of the weight, sort of like a standardized weight of an atom. Uh, obviously, it's it's not going to be just one atom. So obviously, it's tiny amounts, but it's this number of atoms. It's uh, basically six times ten to twenty-three. So six with a uh, six point zero two with twenty-three zeros follow. So it's if you take any atom. So today we we'll take hydrogen here. Okay, let's write this down. So take hydrogen and we multiply it by by this. Uh, this long number here. That would mean we have uh, one mole of hydrogen. And that one mole. Where did we get that? One mole. So a mole it's like a collection of atoms. And a mole will have a specific weight. So if we sorry, if we look on the periodic table here. You can see the number on the bottom. Uh, we've got the atomic number at the top, but we've got the the mass of an element on the bottom. So say we, say we take zinc here. This uh, t zinc it's sixty five point three eight grams. So one mole of zinc would be sixty five point three eight grams. So it's the number of these zinc atoms, so 6 to 23, is how much a zinc would weigh. So if you want you can draw a triangle. I'm not sure if you have come across these. But basically you times this to get this. But I'll show you. So if I just copy and paste this. Put this here into the bottom right hand corner. So, when you have a mole of an atom, you can use it to basically work out, say, percentages of of uh, an element which is in a thing. So, say of H two O. We have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So one mole of hydrogen, one mole equals some equals one gram, and you can see that on the periodic table under uh, underneath elements. I think it's on the top of a uh, year in the. In, in Europe, but in America it's certainly one it's actually on the bottom, it tells you the the mass of the, the element. So we have one mole equals one gram and we have two. So the hydrogen is two grams. Make it a bit bigger. So H two in our water command here is two grams. And then we have our oxygen. If we go back, if we load up our periodic table. Uh, I hope the oxygen is on the screen. Yep, oxygen here, it's fifteen point nine nine. So say sixteen. So we see one gram sorry, one mole of wrong one. One mole of oxygen is going to equal sixteen grams. So you can see oxygen is quite a bit heavier than hydrogen and remember the definition for mole it's uh, 6 point, uh, six times 10 to 23 so that's 6 or 23 zeros on the ends of the specific elements so this number of sorry this number here of oxygen atoms will equal 16 grams and that 16 grams is the weight of one mole of oxygen. So I suppose you can work out percentages here. You can if you add these two together. So H2O 
one mole of H2O. So this H2O times by 6.02 to 23, and we worked out individual sections, equals 18 grams. And then you can start to play around with um, working out the percentages of how much percentage each element contributes to the total mass of the the element, the compounds. So coming back to this, I suppose I didn't really explain it explain it that well. If you times the number of times an atom by six point zero two, you get the mole that's the moles in uh, grams, so the weight. But um it's of course <laughs> it's very difficult to get the exact weight of one like say he took one one element um one atom of say oxygen or hydrogen, it'll be a considerably small amount considerably small number. I mean imagine two grams divided by this number, that's how much one hydrogen sorry, one gram divided by this. Imagine how small that would be. Uh so if you want to find the weight, uh just look on the periodic table and it'll tell you the weight of one mole of a specific element. So you see we have a heli element like gold here. One mole of gold weighs 196 grams. So remember those 6 times 10 to 23 of this element is of this gold here is going to weigh 196 grams. Oops. So I hope you found this video uh, useful in just uh, going over what a mole is. Uh, it's basically just the weight of an atom, uh, the weight of many of these atoms, this number of atoms. And I hope it educated you. And please subscribe to my channel if you found it useful. Uh, leave some feedback uh, in the comment section below. It would be very much appreciated. And goodbye.